this uh, defense heading into training camp? How are you feeling about the guys you got out there? Uh, we're excited about this uh, season. Um, you know, I think coming out of the spring, I think we built a uh, a really good camaraderie with the with the added veterans, the the, uh, the draft picks that we've brought in, and and the guys are really looking forward to uh, getting this thing started. I know we are as coaches as well. What was the biggest position that you met over the past couple weeks of this camp? Well, I just think when you when you add a, a veteran piece like Vaughn Bell, uh, Geno Stone in the back end, and then you know the influx of defensive linemen that we've added to in the draft and in free agency with Sheldon Rankins. Um, those that those key positions for us, I think that's really going to help. Pass rush has been something over the last few years. You guys are wanting to see more production outside of the trade and more of the pass. How do you get more pressure on the quarterback and guys outside of 91? Well, let's let's make sure Trey continues to do what he's doing first and foremost. Uh, I think you know Sheldon's going to add some inside pressure. DJ, uh, excuse me, uh, BJ Hill has been able to in the past. We need to get a little uptick there, and then. You know, we've got some of these young guys, the Joseph Osage of the world, that have had the first uh, his first off season where he hasn't had to rehab an injury. Uh, Miles Murphy, we're looking forward to, and um, so and then don't don't anybody sleep on Sam Hubbard because uh, you know he's a key part of what we do around here. I just think Sam has such high expectations for himself. Uh, we do as well, but. Um, you know, he's everything that we're about, Sam. So I think uh, uh, I think he is healthy as well. You know, he had his uh, ankle taken care of, and, and he'll be out there this year uh, uh, 100% Sam Hubbard, and that's good for all of us. Well, you mentioned Miles Murphy um, going into the second year now. What would you like to see from him this offseason to kind of hit that next level and hit that growth? Well, I think it's what we ask of any good, any young player or older player is just being consistent. You know, he's not a rookie anymore, and, and making sure that uh, maybe some of the things he struggled with last year, uh, and he showed great signs in the spring uh, of kind of overcoming that. But now we'll get back down and get the pads on. But uh, just overall consistency, and you know, he's got a bright future. Well, I think to be available, let's start with that. And he's put himself in that situation, uh, you know, the way he's trained. And, and uh, again, as I mentioned, not having to rehab something. But he's got a great motor. He's got, uh, you know, athletic body that we all know. So just get out there and do it. Be consistent on, on an everyday basis. And I think the uh, production will come. Well, I think stability. I think when you when you, the name of their position is safety. So, you know, they're making sure that everybody in front of them is in a safe position, and we're not giving up big plays. And, uh, you know, I think that both those guys are. You know, we all know what Vaughn has done for this team. Uh, Gino had a heck of a year uh, for for the Ravens. Um, so they're just two guys that are. Uh, they know exactly what's coming. Um, they're very, very prideful in how they approach their, their individual game. Uh, and they'll they'll be able to elevate the players around them. So I feel good about those two. Jordan, you know, the, the media asked about your competition this summer. What's the answer you would like to have from them for this year? Yeah, any young player, I think uh, any player in particular, uh, the best friend of a coach is competition. So, you know, while we, we, we want everybody to be able to play, obviously there's only going to be 11 at one time, but we use different guys in different roles around here. And whoever the best 11 will be, will be out there. So Jordan comes in and, and uh, shows, you know, his path is on the right path, and, and which he had some really good moments last year as a rookie. Um, and we'll just be looking forward uh, to see his consistency on, uh, from his standpoint this, this training camp. Well, physically, they're you know big, strong guys. I mean, to me, the way we're approaching it as a coaching staff, it's we're throwing those guys in the deep end of the pool. You know, I've seen some videos where they just throw the babies and teach them how to swim. Well, that's going to be our guys. You know, get out there and you know it's uh, 
we're, they have the ability to do it, and uh, we're going to give them every, every opportunity to. Well, we have our core values of what we want to be. You know, uh, we always want to disrupt the quarterback. You know, when we're when we're kind of humming along, you know, we're in the top three of QBR against in the league, and that's such an important stat these days. You know, I think you can um, you're going to win the Super Bowl. Um, you know, the running game on offense is going to manage the game and help the team. But you're going to win the Super Bowl throwing the ball. So, you know, consequently, you got to be really good against defending the pass. Uh, as well as obviously defending the run, but uh, you know we've got to make sure we do that, disrupting the quarterback verse with rush and coverage, um, and then the rest will kind of will sort itself out. As you mentioned, every year is going to be a little bit different, uh, but we want to be a team that plays physical. Uh, we want to be a team that plays smart, and we want to we want to make sure we're playing error-free football as much as possible. And if we can do that, we'll be a top. You know, another get back to where we're supposed to be. And it starts with me. I want to make sure that uh, that is emphasized throughout uh, every day in training camp. What have you done in the offseason to look, thinking back and looking forward to the game to tell? Yeah. I just think, you know, we, we always dive deep into, you know, analytics and looking at things. And, you know, I go back and I did a little bit deeper dive into, you know, hey, why did I call this here? Or, you know, what was, what, what was I thinking in this situation? And it's not always the call. It's a combination of both, you know players executing and the calls, obviously. But, you know, just looking back, thinking how I approached the games last year and our common opponents, making sure we've, you know, our division we got, but some of the newer teams are going to pop up. You know, we've got right away, we've got a new coordinator the first game. You, you know, we know Alex, but, you know, it's uh, uh, what, what are they going to do, you know? So making sure that we know the teams that we don't know um, and, and really getting involved in that. But uh, really just went back hard and looked at some of the, diff the decisions we made game plan wise uh, and hopefully come away from that where I know we have with maybe a little bit different approach. No, I think we went into, I think, you know, the approach has been good. Um, it was just a few things I think as we did that maybe, um, you know, if, if something that's been good for us in the past uh, maybe not force feeding it as much, you know, with some newer players, which we went back to in the spring. And, you know, the guys now have a better feel for the whole thing. And I, I, I just think uh, we're in a better place today than maybe we were a year ago going into training camp.